Hey everyone, welcome back to Find Me in Seattle. I am Connor, the guy in the yellow backpack, and today we are in White Center because we are visiting here. It's called Rat City Studios. What's really interesting about Rat City Studios, the founder, her name is Deb, she built this studio out of kind of the property that she lives on, and it's grown from her passion uh, and 20 plus years of making her own pottery into creating this community of uh, people who come here for classes or to use the space kind of in their own pottery making pursuits. Uh, now they are moving to a second location down the street. So uh, we're gonna hang out today. They offer classes here, pottery making classes, and uh, we're gonna make some pottery. Amanda and I are gonna hang out. I've never made pottery before, and uh, I'm excited to learn. And space a little bit here at Rat City Studios. Uh, Deb is going to give us a little bit of a demo and I'm going to include a bunch of this here in the video uh, because it was so informative for me to just go through the whole process. It's kind of like introductory 101. Uh, so if you're curious about uh, following that process or kind of learning like what is the 101 about uh, starting pottery and working with the wheel, watch this or else you know skip a couple minutes ahead and, and jump to the fun parts here. We're, we're making some pottery. First we're going to pat the clay into a ball. And I'm going to draw a little circle here, and this will help me get it on in the middle of the wheel. And then kind of pat it down right into the middle. And then what the goal is, is to make it so that there's no undulation in the clay on the top or on the sides, so that it's all centered. And we're going to do that by first giving downward pressure, just to make sure that it's really stuck down. So when you're doing that, I'm bracing my forearm on this splash pan, and if you're sitting, you can brace your elbow on your knee or leg. And then that presses the clay into a lower ball, and then we're going to press the clay into more of a narrower, higher ball clay. And that motion of the clay moving up and then back down is what helps it find center. You're saying clay is meditative. It totally can be, but it can also be a little frustrating at first. So the key is to be steady. I'm pressing in with the heel of my hand here and pulling toward myself to lift the clay and then pressing down. Oh, wow. And you can see every time I do it, it's a little less bumpy. Okay, so then we're gonna open. We're gonna press in the center and I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom because I want this to have a, a foot at the bottom. I want it to hold water. So then once I get close to the bottom, I can take my needle tool and check how thick it is. So we want it to be maybe a quarter of an inch thick. So I'm sticking it in there and then I can see that's about how thick it is, which is a little on the thick side, but it's okay. So you want to go for about a quarter of an inch. And I'll walk you through all this while you're trying it too, just so you don't feel like you have to remember all this. And then I'm curling my finger like this and just pulling straight back toward me to make this a wider space. And every movement is as steady as possible. So I could do this with one hand in terms of my strength, but it's so much more steady if I have both my hands supporting each other as often as possible. Right, so now comes the part that's called pulling the wall. So I'm going to make a groove at the very bottom and just press in and hold that narrower stance and lift my hands and that forces the clay up and into a wall. So then you can use tools to smooth, um, like right now I'm smoothing this or you can straighten it or you can um, use it to create change in shape. So you can press in and press in and just really change the way that the pot looks. So this is cutting it off and I'm just going to cut this in half so you can kind of see what the inside profile looks like. It's 
So what we're going for is to, you know, have these as even as possible, which is hard. I mean, that's the part that takes practice, but just so you can visualize the goal. And then having this be about the same thickness too. If it's super thick, that's fine. It's like, we'll just be bottom weighted, you know, like a rocks glass might. Now it's here. The class has been really fun so far. So here's what we've got. We get through a little demo of the setup and the process and how to build up the clay and take the clay down uh, and remove the clay. And that's kind of what we're working with here in the class. Now that we are done playing with the clay, we've each made two pieces. There's a couple next steps after we remove the clay. Uh, we have to choose the gloss and also the color. So then what they're gonna do is actually behind me, you can see the kiln in the background. They're gonna take a couple weeks and they're gonna fire it up and make it look all pretty and colorful and make it look like maybe I did something worthwhile here. It's so fun just to like play in a different form of art. I'm so familiar with making videos and editing on my computer that taking a whole nother creative aspect and approach uh, it's been very challenging for me, a lot easier for Amanda, uh, but just fun to work your brain in a different way and try something new. As we're making this pottery right now, I am realizing I am absolutely terrible at this. Uh, I ruined a couple blocks of clay so far through this video, and it ain't going out too well. I'm curious for what my finalized clay is going to look like, but uh, here's some more clips uh, of us creating some of the pottery, and then we'll come back. Don't forget, if you are watching this vlog and you're enjoying kind of all my explorations of the guy in the yellow backpack here around Seattle, make sure to subscribe and like and leave a comment. If you ever done pottery before, I'd love to know. All right, that concludes all the time we have here at Rat City Studios. Thank you so much to Deb and the team. We are coming back uh, in a couple weeks to pick up the piece of pottery here that we made today. Hopefully mine turns out I had a little hole in the bottom, but we'll see what happens there. And uh, can't wait to take our little cups and our bowls home. And that's coming up right now here on the video for me three weeks later. And uh, we'll see you in three weeks. So it's been about three weeks later, and so we're here to uh, pick up the final pieces. And uh, I think they turned out really good. They're really cute, cute little bowls. You can see I got two of them here in my hand. Thanks so much to Rat City Studios. I've linked them at the bottom of the description here. If you want to check them out and come do a class for yourself and make some of your own pottery, thank you very much for inviting Amanda and I. We had a blast, and we'll see you at the next video.